Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 23 big money bolos coming your way. Items that I bought low and sold high. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These items sold on eBay, and I picked them up at different places. Lots of garage sales, thrift stores, some YouTube. Um, the first item was gifted to me, and I'm going to tell you about that. And it was actually purchased from another YouTuber from my eBay store. So I'm going to tell you all about it. Kind of a fun little story. It just keeps like switching hands from YouTuber to YouTuber to YouTuber. So kind of fun. All right, let's get started. And you guys need to make sure you're subbed to um, both these channels when I share them with you, okay? Because they are both big money bolo finders. Um, I mean, amazing. So, uh, I, I think they're better than me. <laughs> they find a lot of really good stuff. Um, okay. Let's get started. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So let's talk about the video I want you to go watch. So right here, this one that says, wow. So in this video, I unbox a box full of bolos pretty much. And one of my members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, I have memberships. If you guys want to check that out, there's a down below, it says join. It's kind of by subscribe. And you can check that out if you would like. And uh, she's like, can I send you a box? And I'm like, okay. And so she mailed it to me and I was like, well, I'm going to do an unboxing on my channel, of course. And then I listed everything and popped up screenshots of how I listed everything. But I just sold one of the items. So this is the video if you want to check and see what else I got. Um, just so kind, so awesome, and such fun. So I got this from Terry over at Mindful Recycle. And I will tell you, she is so good at her job. She finds so many bolo items and you guys are going to learn a ton from her channel. Now she is taking a little bit of a YouTube break. I'm hoping she comes back soon because her videos are amazing if you want to learn. So um, check her out. She's at 640 subscribers. Let's try to get her to 700 and say, everybody put in the comments of one of her videos, come back. All right. Um, now, this was purchased from Vicky, and they have the YouTube channel Katie and Vicky. So, Vicky bought this item for Katie because Katie loves, wait for it, ET. <laughs> so, Mindful Recycle sent me ET in a bolo box. It was actually a buddy box, but I call it a bolo box. And then Vicky bought it for Katie. So it's just a, this little E.T. alien has been everywhere. Um, he is just floating around and he is super, super cool. He like talks and lights up. He's kind of like um, a Furby, only he's E.T. So before we go too far, if you guys want to learn about some major bolos, um, a lot of vintage clothing over here, um, but also hard goods. I'm telling you, this channel is fantastic and you will learn a ton so definitely go and sub them up all right um so et let's talk about et he came in a box so i got him free i ended up taking a best offer of 55 dollars, and the buyer was all in which it was kate or vicky for katie 73 dollars and 51 cents for this guy um i do have a video that i put over on my reseller testing products so I highly recommend if you guys have items like this to put a video in your description to show that the item works and how it works. And if you'd like to learn how to do this, I do have a video on my channel that teaches you how to do that. But definitely Bolo for this guy. And I know that Terry Mindful Recycle bought a couple of these. I think she sourced them at a garage sale and she sold one also. I can't remember what her sold for. I remember seeing it when I was looking through her solds, but um yeah, I was like, I sold that. Did she, how do, wait, she gave me that. What what's going on? And then she told me she had two. So, all right, the next item, oh my goodness, you guys. 
These are amazing bolos. And I could not believe my eyes when I walked up to this garage sale and it was just sitting there in plain sight for $1. Gold collection dimensions, always look them up. If they're a dollar, <laughs> just grab it and go. You're going to make your money back. Uh, this sold for $72 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Cotty Sweet Earth Cologne Wildflower Rose Honeysuckle Lavender Jasmine. Um, I got this at a garage sale for $1. It's a little set. I did pull them out just to kind of show that um, how much was in each one of them. And I ended up taking a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. I do feel like I could have gotten full asking price if I would have waited it out but I probably would have been waiting for the right buyer for a while. So $50 was good. Um, I only paid a dollar for it. So the next item are these mega blocks. I picked these up at a garage sale. It was a bulk lot. They were all together, just like you see them. I want to say I paid five bucks for them. And I ended up taking, or I ended up selling them on sale. I was had a 28% off sale going on. And they sold for $50.39. These are replacement parts, you guys. Um, there may see, be some that are complete or I, I'm not sure. But somebody who knows about Mega Blocks, they can probably, I, I don't know. I, I mean, that guy looks complete. There might be some that are complete in there. But yeah. And then there's parts that could go to, I don't know. But anyway. $50.39. Buyer was all in for $62.48. The next item that sold, I have a video uh, sourcing this and it says always dig on the front. And I believe this is on my Bolo Buddies main channel. And I ended up selling this for $50. I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. The buyer was all in for $59.28. And it is a stitch and style. So what they are is like little um, like zippers and buttons that go on Barbie clothing and they're original, very old from 1969. So super, super cool find. I was so excited. I found it with a bunch of sewing stuff. So definitely check out that video. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for $10 and I almost didn't buy it because the box was huge. I not a big fan of shipping stuff like this, but I was like, this is going to be a bolo. It's $10. Just, just buy it and ship it. And it sold really quick for $74. The buyer was all in for $116.19. It's called a swoofer and it's like an air swing that you stand on like a surfboard. I don't know. It's really weird. Never seen anything like it, but um, yeah, it sold quick. The next item I sold, I got from the same garage sale as the swoofer. And I paid $5 for this. It's a Swarovski, and I may be saying that wrong, Crystal Accents Blue Buckle Bracelet. And I sold this for $50. The buyer was all in for $61.48. The next item is this vintage Paul Sachs vintage dress. I said vintage twice. Um, it does have issues. There's like a hole here and a hole there and some, I don't know what's going on there. It's like the material rubbed. Um, I can't remember where I got this. I think it was a garage sale and I bought some other vintage clothing items. It was just super, it's cute. It's like fancy, cute. I mean, not, I wouldn't wear it or anything like that, but I could see somebody wanting it, but really, really old. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $38 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Barbie winter ride um, horse and Barbie. And it's a pink box from 1998, and I sold it for $59.99. The buyer was all in for $90.11. And I believe I got this at a garage sale. It was either $2 or $3. I, I, got two, uh, I got Barbies from two sales close together that summer, so I'm not sure which one it was, but it was either two or three bucks. This is a major bolo, the Grinch Whoville. You guys, I almost left this behind. I got this at a garage sale for $5. And it does have extra pieces to it, um, but these comp out really, really well. I was pleasantly surprised. It sold really fast uh, for $148 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item sold fast also. It's this vintage cowboy Garfield. I picked it up at a garage sale for $2. 
Um, I do have footage of me sourcing it, but I don't think I've released the video yet. Um, this guy sold for $44 and 40 cents. And again, I paid $2 for him and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Lego Star Wars set. I got it at a garage sale for 10 bucks. It was sealed. It's from 2019. So it's retired. I took a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Harley Davidson unlined rain pants with stirrups, uh, size small. I took a best offer of $40 on these and the buyer paid shipping. I don't do a lot of clothes, but I wasn't going to pass up those because the price was good. Uh, I got these beans out of a mystery box. These are called Mighty Beans. They are toy figures and they're kind of like weeble wobbles. Like if you bump it to the side, it'll pop back up. Um, I sold these for $35 and the buyer paid shipping, so I did take a best offer on those. This was another item that came out of a dibble box that I purchased off of Donatella Bottolino. Um, it's uh, a dibble box is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. I bought a man's dibble box. Uh, there were some items I wanted for my husband, and this was one of the items in there. And he's like, I'm going to keep that car. And I'm like, for what? Like to look at, like, no, we need to sell that. You can keep the watches and the coins. I'm going to sell the car. Um, he's like, all right. And I sold it for $54 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely check out Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you. Their links are down in the description of the video. The next one is this lot of 20 vintage skeleton keys. I picked this up at a garage sale for $2 and 50 cents. And they sold for $59 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And um, it's funny because this was right at the beginning of the unboxing. And I was already like, no, I'm going to sell that after I had told him he could keep whatever he wanted. Um, pretty funny. Uh, the next item is this Eden Pure uh, Infrared Zone Heater. So uh, this sold for $90. I picked it up at a garage sale for $15. So they were all in for $122.92. Now, this was brand new with an open box. One thing you got to watch with these, if they're used back here in the vent area, it can get like full of yuck, yucky, yuck, yuck, and you'll have to clean it. So I typically won't pick these up anymore if they're pre-owned just because it grosses me out and I don't want to clean it. But this one was new, so I went ahead and grabbed it. The next item is this retired Halloween fiber optic witch, and I picked her up for $80, and the buyer was all in for $99.54. I got her at the Goodwill for $6. So the video that I was just talking about that I have not with the Garfield, by the time I post this, that video will probably be out, and so will the video where I sourced this. So look for my Goodwill video, my Goodwill Halloween video, because I hit the jackpot that day. Um, anyway, I paid $6 for her and took a best offer of 80. The next item is this My Step 2, or I'm sorry, Step 2, My First Advent Calendar. I got this at a garage sale. I want to say I paid $10 for it, but I didn't write it down. So um, it was a little bit high. Um, it's not really that high, is it? But to me, it's like $10. I sold this for $50, best offer. The buyer was all in for $91.88. And it's super cool. You pull out these little drawers and um, you can put like little trinkets in them. And then the kids will open them like each day. It's an advent calendar. I mean, I guess an adult could, but I'm. this is more geared towards kids. And then on Christmas, they open the bottom one and it's got something inside that. So super, super cool item. And it was new old stock. So was excited to find that. The next item is this Longenberger mini baking dish with the strawberry insert. So from what I understand, you buy the strawberry insert separately and the other piece comes together. And this is, it's a three piece set here. And this sold for $59.99. It sold auction style first round and um, the buyer paid shipping on that. And I paid $5 at a garage sale. The next item is this Olaf Disney Frozen um, Jemmy. I think it's a, yeah, Jemmy, G-E-M-M-Y, inflatable. And where did I get that? I got that at a garage sale for $5 and I sold it for $65 plus shipping. The next item is amazing. Um, 
I paid up for this. I paid $20 for this, you guys. And when I saw $20, I almost just kept walking. And then I was like, I better look that up. And um, I didn't do like a deep search of what comps were and everything and what all was included. I just did a basic search thing to see if I could make money because I was at the sale. So when I got home and comped it out and realized that I had the cookie jar also, um, I was pleasantly surprised. I ended up selling this for $275 and the buyer paid shipping. So that is definitely my biggest money bolo of this video. The next item is also a big money bolo. Um, I had this up for auction for $74.99. Somebody offered me $100 and I went ahead and took it. Um, I don't know if I would have gotten a bidding war or not. It is darling. It's got this nautical scene. I could see uh, somebody who has a dollhouse and maybe they have an extra bathroom and they want it to be like the kid's bathroom because it's got this cute nautical theme. Or maybe it's like a lake theme or something. I don't know, but really, really cute. Hard to find. Rare item. I couldn't find any comps on this. So I priced it high and um, was hoping for a bidding war and ended up getting that offer. So I actually took the offer when I was making one of my other videos the other night. So kind of funny when you get um, an offer and you're like, should I take it? Um, I was kind of like having a conversation with myself and I'm like, I'm going to take it. So thank you guys for being here. That concludes 23 Big Money Bolos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Which was your favorite item? And again, go check out Terry from Mindful Recycle and um, Katie and Vicky because again, you guys will learn so much from them. They are amazing, all three of them. And big money bolo finders, big money. All right, you guys, if you made it this far, type into the comments, big money. All right, thanks for watching.